Greetings, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Vega. Last time, we were... Oh, uh, all we did was got the bike? Yeah. Bicycle, right? And also, we caught Banjo, who's suddenly not modest. It's naughty. Yeah, I caught another one, obviously. And I just kept this one. I don't know. I, uh, hopefully that special defense isn't too big of a hindrance. But... If I didn't mention it, it evolves to normal fighting in its final evolution. It's like 34-ish when it evolves, yeah. But I don't need it for the next gym, so I'm not going to be training. But Machu is finally max happiness, so we'll be evolving that guy in like two evolutions today. So, let's move on and battle a million guys. Oh boy. Korra definitely needs sledge, as we sort of spoiled last episode. Whoa, what a huge spoiler. Um gonna get rid of Pound. I'm telling you, Whirlpool has its moments, okay? Oh boy, especially paired up with Confuse Ray or Toxic. I might remove it by the time we get Toxic. Um, no, do I want to go to Machu? Yeah, sure, I don't know what she's gonna send out. Hopefully it's not a Diglett or something. Okay, just a Houndour. That's neat. Let's go Bubja. Sure. And Roar. Oh. <laughs> Machu! Jeez! Now, there's something that Houndour has about this level. Cool, it missed. Oh, there, Dark Roar. Yeah. I want to say that has priority, just from what I've seen. So, it's a dark type move with priority. That's pretty neat. It does get it really early. So, that's really nice. And it's pretty cool. And Machu evolves into a Pikachu. Way to go, Machu. Not going to evolve until 13, though, to the next evolution because it learns something then. I just stopped because, you know, I just wanted to. Yeah, that's a great <laughs> thing to say. Okay, so Machu level 11. Yeah, I want to put Machu first. Let me just keep switching in and out. Tyrogue. Oh, yeah, we didn't even see the Tyrogue sprite. Yeah, huh? Well, go to my dark type. Not that it has anything other than fake out and tackle, right? Well, yeah, cool sprite. That's neat. I don't know how we missed it back in that cave, though. It's... Huh, it's not that rare? I don't know, from my experience at least. Alright, you know what? Stop training Korra and go to Bubja. And yeah, I'll just keep Machu there actually. Okay, so, things to talk about. X and Y, again, I won't talk about it that much, but the legendary names were revealed. I'm glad I'm recording this the next day because I would have just kept on going. Oh yeah, Acid Spray doesn't hit both of them. I'm just thinking of Acid. But, legendary names. The uh, the X legendary is Xerneas. Right, Xerneas. Interesting name. I'm not sure what it means, but that's cool. A really complicated name. Same with the Y legendary, who's Eveltal. Evel Eveltal. Yeah, say it with me. Eveltal. Cool. I love it. And I'm gonna get that dude. Oh man. No Machu! Okay. So, <laughs> I don't know about typing still. I can't even try to guess what Evolutal is. Honestly. Oh dear. Okay. Same with like Palkia. I mean, it still doesn't make that much sense. It's water. I don't know. Everyone thought it was going to be Psychic just because it was purple back when that was revealed. But oh well. I don't know, Eveltal. I want to use it. Ugh. You know how, like, 2013 just started? Now I can't wait for it to end until October. Ugh, why? Okay, water gun. Oh, no, 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 no. Good. Korra, way to go. Oh, and, you know, I didn't really talk about this last episode. Yay, quick attack. Uh, yeah. Uh, but with the daycare center there, it makes it really easy to breed for stuff. So, I mean, you'll have to... <laughs> know the breeding, like the family members of each guy, so that can get a little annoying. But hey, Machu! It's <laughs> a little tiny head. <sighs> it's so awkward. Okay, Karate Chop, yay. You know what, you'd think I'd get rid of Thundershock because this guy definitely isn't a special attacker, but you never know. Electric move it comes in handy. No. Okay, Calm Nature, sure. What? You charm? Uh. Okay, I did not know this. So if it has lightning rod, it turns into cute charm, huh? Okay, well, I guess that's okay. A little static would have been better. I know for a fact that it does keep static if your Pichu Pikachu had static. So, huh. 
I did not know this. That's great. It's defense. It's really high. Oh, by the way, here's a base stats. I'll be showing off the base stats for every Pokemon in our team that evolves to the final stage. So, it's pretty good. And, wow, that special defense is really low. You know, with the calm nature and all, it's not that great, but its attack is pretty high. So, I'm sure we're fine in that department. Okay, moving on. Uh, back to X and Y, though. Uh, everyone's saying, hey, we're the Hoenn remakes. Obviously, they're not going to make a Hoenn remakes just yet, because it's the end of the DS. They have to move on, and starting 6th gen with a remake isn't something anyone would really want. Plus, you know, new games are probably better than a remake, okay? Definitely. But... The one thing about the trailer is, in the beginning of the trailer, if Pikachu's talking, that might not have that much significance, but if you remember in Rustboro, there's a scientist guy who says, oh, we're trying to talk to Pokemon, it's not going so well. Uh, huh? Maybe has something to do with it? Maybe I'm just looking into this too much. I'm gonna write a tackle for uproar. It is 90 power, if you notice there. Look. Ta-da. So, we need to start using Machu, honestly. I need to, like, level 28 for the gym. Alright. So, there's that guy in Rustbar. Holy! Oh, no! Okay. That <laughs> did nothing. Wow. So, nature power is, like, in 5th gen. I can't believe they changed that. Neat. Okay. Well, Baruby might have some cool stuff to it. But then again, nature power is just wherever you are. So, not that reliable. Okay. Anyway. What else was there? Um. Yeah, so Hoenn... Semi... I'm gonna say there will be a 3rd gen remake in 6th gen. I mean, it's pretty easy to assume that. Oh, here's Toadette. Normal Ghost, by the way. Just keep that in mind. It does have a couple of resistances. Okay, what do I try to do? Let's go above Joe. So, Hoenn. Right, and there's also, in that same... In the Devon Corporation, Rustboro, there's also the guy that says, Oh, we're trying to go into the dreams of Pokemon. And then that happened in 5th gen. So, that's kind of why I'm assuming that. That has some kind of significance. Yeah, we found everyone here, so we're done. Yeah, okay. Well, that's fun. Okay, oh, there's still a bunch of trainers over down south, so we'll take those guys on. Alright. So, third gen, yay. I don't know. Oh, did I even talk about this last episode? With here, you need cut, and just keep that in mind. Get out of the way. But over there is the move tutor, the move relearner, rather. So keep that in mind and keep those little shroms and big shroms. Oh yeah, Machu. Oh man. Could take out some dudes. Wow. Oh man, all that EXP. Okay, thanks, buddy. And you I think yeah, this guy's electric dude. Oh. It's a Pikachu. Look at the difference, by the way. <laughs> oh man. Let's go to Bob just sure. I just don't wanna get started. Yay. Well, so much for that. At least it's a, it isn't the guy I'm training. Alrighty. Go back to Machu. Maybe take on something. Anyway, okay. That's perfect. Yeah. Cool. And level 16. Okay, Machu definitely going to be helping for the gym. Oh, and right here, a lychee berry. Yeah, I want to say that's the only one in the game, so keep that in mind if you really want to use it. Um, I don't know. I tried using it in my practice files. You just don't really get the chance to use it. Like, use it for the lead four, I guess. I don't know. But then again, by that point, there are a lot of items that you can have your Pokemon hold. So, uh, I don't know. It's just better using something else. This was a great switch in. Jeez, Bubja. Oh, don't get fully paralyzed. Good. And dead? Yeah. Oh, man. Bubja. It's just... Ugh, I hate it when it evolves. It's so... Bad. It's more defensive than attacking it. I mean, it is kind of strong. Look, 59. Then loses its dark stab, which is a bit better than, say, ghost. Kinda, kinda. Yeah. Let's go for an attack. Okay. What are you doing? You had double kick. Alrighty then. What do we do around here? Okay, let's start on here. Oh, by the way, this is a patch of grass. I did catch a some certain certain something. I'll show that off later. But basically, um, over there in shop here. 
Um, 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 um. Okay. Wild Pokemon around here is... The really rare guy is a Pony Psychic guy. Remember that guy? He lives around these areas, and the only way to evolve it is through a Moonstone for a Psychic Steel type, I think. Or its other evolution is Psychic flying through a Sunstone. It might be the other way around Sunstone for Steel. Yeah, yeah, you get it. Oh, great, Randy. Well, we're almost done around here. Who cares? Uh, yay. Ether. Alright, nothing. Okay, oh, here's a check. Hi, Hoot Hoot. Oh, I wonder if Thundershaw can take it out. I really doubt it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Karate Chop. Cool. So, keep that in mind. And the Pokemon I caught around here was a Tropius. They are really rare. So, I'd suggest getting one just for HM slave status. And Rolling Kick. I'd rather not have Rolling Kick because, look at, it's not that big of a difference between Karate Chop and Rolling Kick. And look at that accuracy. Why is it so low? Makes no sense. Ugh, all these first gen moves are really bad and they haven't updated it since forever. And, um, so Rolling Kick? Nah. But does it, Rolling Kick have another... Like, does it have a chance for anything? I think it has a chance to flinch. That one time I used a Hitmonlee in my lifetime. Yeah, well, more than once, honestly. And no Pony Guy. Okay. Yeah, they are sort of rare, so keep that in mind. Okay. Well, let's move on. Any items? No. And hello, sir. Oh, a very good day to you, too. Thanks, buddy. Go for Cry Chop. And, oh, Machu. Okay. That's about it, I suppose. So, Poison Guy, let's go to Bubja. Yeah. So, X and Y. Oh, man. Why is it so long? Why must time go so slow? Now we wait. In the meantime, we play Vega. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Down here is a TM for Icy Wind. Not the best substitute to say Ice Beam, but hey, I'll take it. I might just teach that to my starter, Cora. I don't know. And this guy doesn't let you pass, by the way, because you have to beat the gym. And not only that, you have to go to the next town, and then you can come back over here. So just keep that in mind if you're lost. Shioi City. Oh man, let's go ahead and heal. That is getting rather annoying. So. Now, what we gotta do is take on this area. Hey, Professor Elm's lab. No, heart gold. Hiya. Now, this guy. Oh, man. I've done this trade with him before, but now I don't remember what he wants. I know he gives you a spiel, but... Uh, what is it? I know it's not Tropius. I thought it was Tropius. I tested it out, though. It's not Tropius. It might be the pony guy. I didn't catch one, though. I kind of killed it off screen and research labs oh man cutscene here oh man I are they taking him hostage okay fade out individually that's great hi sir yeah this is pretty much Cinnabar Island kind of not a lot of edits here but oh well hiya oh okay ambush ahoy not sure if this chick's keeping all those people held captive but I don't know what's going on in the story let's just assume that they're being held captive and it's up to the Gab to heal everybody. Self-destruct. Okay. Um, that's kind of annoying. Okay, let's go to Machu. Sure. And the Hound Hour. Okay. So remember, with the DH guys, they always take one turn to use an X item that could either sweep you, or you can use that turn to your advantage and do whatever you want. Most of the time, they don't really get to do anything. And sometimes the uh, AI will just use the wrong X item. I'm assuming the wrong one. Like, I've seen them use an X speed on a Pinko, an X defend on, like, a Hound Hour or something. And so, and not the most reliable thing to do. Oh, those poor DH guys. Wow, okay. <laughs> um, you know what? I'll try to take it out. Sure, I just kind of want to get more EXP on dear old Machu. Okay. Yay. When are we gonna see that Q charm activate? Why is it getting Q charm? Oh man! Like in Japanese, its name is alluring body or something. I it might be a little bit wrong, but it's something like that. Irresistible body, something along those lines. Okay. Now here, as you can tell, with the room is the fossil guy. We can turn in our root fossil that we got back in the cave. But for some reason, he gives you all these options. I don't know what they mean. 
I'm assuming they're like for the other fossils you get you click on that selection so see I keep saying he keeps saying like oh no not that but the first one is Lily so now he kicks me out okay let's get out and hiya ta-da we get a Lily bits male oh well could have been ultra rare Lily Lil E okay <laughs> So, off screen, I went ahead and finally updated the box. Oh boy, Lily, you're impish. Wow, that's not bad. But I don't really care. I don't think I'll be using it. Oh, well, it has suction cup. Not that storm drain exists, but I don't know. I could have given it water drain. No, water absorb. Right. <laughs> okay. Now, I'll be using Tropius later for HMs, like I said, but hoot hoot deserves to be in the rare guys box. We'll be filling that up way later, okay? But for now, I think that'll be it for today's episode. Next time, we're gonna go through the research labs part two, because there was first the research lab, and then here's more research labs. Okay, train on Machu next episode. Oh boy, see you guys later.